Well, each Wednesday during this U.S. presidential campaign season, Robin Hamilton, our D.C. connection, profiles one of our nation's vice presidents. Theoretically, the individual who stands ready to assume the presidency should something happen to the chief executive. Today's segment profiles one of our most memorable vice presidents, or maybe notorious might be the better description. as the ultimate lightweight vice president stems in part from the deer caught in the headlights look he often had on his face when he spoke in public and when he opened his mouth our 44th vice president often reinforced that reputation quail looked and behaved less like a statesman and more like a collegiate cheerleader he famously misspelled the word potato while judging a grade school spelling contest and while campaigning with george h w bush in 1988 Quayle tried to turn his inexperience into a strength by noting he was the same age as John F. Kennedy when Kennedy became president. The comment uttered during the vice presidential debate prompted a rebuke from Democratic VP candidate Lloyd Benson that became a memorable moment in our political history. I serve with Jack Kennedy. I knew Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. But the Republican ticket won despite the clumsy quail. The Bush quail ticket served one term in office with the president withstanding almost constant criticism over his vice president's public comments like this one. Let me just tell you how thrilling it really is and how, what a challenge it is because in 1988 the question is whether we're going to go forward to tomorrow or we're going to go past to the, the, the back. And I can tell you, listen, we don't want to go back. <laughs> Many Americans held their breath for four long years over the thought that Dan Quayle was a single heartbeat away from becoming the President of the United States. So they clung to Quayle's odd prediction that ironically came true. And the future will be better tomorrow. Well, Bobby Knight told Campaign me. season. And as we enter a new presidential campaign season, let us all hope that we go forward to the future and not past to the back. Live in Washington, D.C., with your D.C. connection, I'm Robin Hamilton. Back to you. Thanks, Robin. Perhaps the selection of Dan Quayle as a VP candidate in 1988 serves as a cautionary tale about the full vetting of qualifications for a candidate. Reminds us a bit of Sarah Palin in the last election. <laughs> 